video three for olive branch. Um, as you can see, uh, solid hardwood floors put throughout the whole of the, the upper structure. We come into the galley area. We have a an Arga oil fired Arga cooker. It does need a little bit of attention. It does work, but there's a fault on the a valve or something. But the, something that you get on eBay for twenty thirty pound. Uh, use around here. Um, sink or plumbed in hot and cold water. Microwave. Um, space under here for fridge and so on. You have to excuse the mess because I, I never get around to finishing it off. So there's the, the Arga. Uh, again, a small kitchen at dinette area. Uh, down here then we have the back um, cabins. There's four small bunks in the back. We'll go into that on video four or five. Again, a few from outside. Very bright and spacious. I had plenty of windows in to keep her looking smart. Uh, Roofing, because uh, I'm in the timber business, all been well, all the timbers, everything's been completely replaced. Low voltage down lights. Uh, we have the main sort of seating area here now. Again, I try to keep the the pine effect throughout the whole boat. Again, very very bright and spacious. Uh, TV, aerial on, stereo system, everything's wired up. Uh, a couple of cast radiators. Very warm once the heating gets going. Again, she's a very bright and spacious boat. Um, radar, all the latest gadgets and gizmos in there. I say I did completely rewire the boat. Um, we have inverters, I think a three or four kilowatt inverter downstairs, power surge devices and so on. Um, but again, what's a nice nice little boat. Um, switches for lights, auxiliaries. Etc. Um, there's a fully fitted alarm system uh, on the boat as well. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll now go down. This was the, uh, the forward hold, so we're going to go down into the. Switch some lights up. Um, again, I was going to use this to um, live aboard myself. At one time I used it as my office, so I've made a couple of spaces down here, which can either be accommodation or whatever. That was going to be my, my book rack and so on. Again, you know, hardwood floors, not the whole lot. Uh, that's a door into the engine room, but we'll run it as a separate video later on. Again, plenty of space. Um, door here, the porthole. Again, carpeted. We're going through here. On the left hand side, we have a Full size walk in shower, um, shower, there we go. All the water drains down and goes down to the central thing there and out onto a pumping um, thing in the inside. Electric toilets, again, needs a good scrub. Uh, to the left hand side here, we have a small cabin, which is a single cabin. Again, not been lived in for a while, so just need a bit of tidying up. But saying a good size in the cabin, then we go to the, the forward cabin, which has got some uh, cupboard storage space on the right hand side as we walk in. Again, very bright and spacious. Um, we have a, a sort of double bed set to one side here. Again, my son's been staying here for a few weeks, so it's in uh, what we call teenage mode. Right, that will do us for this video for now. We'll uh, go into the engine room on five.